there are many kinds of an unlawful detainer action, but perhaps the most classic, and this is a hypothetical of course, is when a person owns a house or leases an apartment. There is a guest that has been invited over or maybe not even invited over and is now staying in that home against the will of the homeowner or the person leasing the property. What can you do in that situation? Some people call law enforcement and law enforcement will generally say this is a civil matter best dealt with through the court system. Why would you need to deal with somebody through the court system who is an unlawful occupant of your apartment or your house? That is because in the state of Florida, it is ill-advised to engage in self-help, which is considered a breach of the peace. Instead, the better course of action is to file an unlawful detainer action, which indicates there's no rental agreement, there is no mortgage payment being made by that person if you're the homeowner, and that guest is not paying for a lion's share of your expenses. There's no existence of any agreement for occupancy whatsoever. That person has essentially no valid defenses. In that case, you may file what's called non-monetary replevin. Unlawful detainer sounds a little strange, but it's a legal term of art. Perhaps a better term would be residential repossession, in which you're retaking ownership of your home against an occupant who is there as an unwanted guest who's not an actual tenant, who has no right to be there, no right to possession, no right to ownership. In that case, an unlawful detainer action may resolve your case through asking for the court to issue a writ of possession, demanding that, or commanding that law enforcement go out to your property and remove that person or those people, however many guests there may be, from the premises, and you will retake possession thereof. That is an unlawful detainer action in the state of Florida.